This training is being brought to you by SQL Server 2012tutorial.com. Today we are going to cover a um, new topic under the series SQL Tutorials by Cache. Specifically we are going to be looking at the work clause. So uh, let's get going and see what we have to cover. Basically the SQL work clause is used to filter data that is returned by a database table or view. Using this clause you can limit the number of rows with one or more conditions. And uh, we are going to look at some examples a little, little bit later. But uh, basically, the SQL WHERE clause can be used with multiple DML statements like the SELECT, UPDATE, or DELETE statements. In fact, uh, you know this clause is typically recommended. It's optional, but uh, highly recommended when using with big tables. And so what that means is, let's say you have a database with millions of rows of data if you you know if you run a select statement without using the work clause you are going to return all the table uh, the whole table now god forbid if you're using it with an update or uh, if you're not using it with an update or delete statement that is going to go ahead and you know change everything um, in your table which may not be exactly what you want so before we look at any examples let's go ahead and cover some uh, basic syntax so here what I have is I'm using a select statement. So basically you can do a select star from table or a view and you know then you use the word condition. For example, uh, here I'm assuming there's an employees table so we can do you know select star from employees where name is cash. So that would pull up uh, you know record with my information on it. And like I mentioned, we are going to cover conditions a little, little bit later. There are many different things you can do with the where clause. Um, you know, as as the underlying information can be anything from numeric data to text data to whatnot. So we are definitely, you know, going to put that to work. Uh, for today's demo, just a little uh, basic information. We are using SQL Server 2012. Uh, you know, currently I have Express Edition running on this machine. Um, we are going to use the world famous Northwind database that's been around for... Um, I used to say number of years, but now it's been a number of decades, it seems like it. And specifically, we are going to focus on customers and products tables. So um, I think I have one more slide and then I can uh, start doing a little bit of demo action over here. So really, we have uh, you know a few examples. Uh, we're going to start with some simple examples with the where clause. We are going to do the following. Uh, we will be using customers table. Um, and I'm going to show you some conditions, uh, basically, you know, using a single field or multiple fields. Then, um, then we can use a condition where we use the or, or clause, which you know lets you decide uh, either that condition one or two are true. And then finally, we are going to use some conditions with matching, uh, you know, in other words, pattern recognition. So. So let's uh, switch to uh, SQL. We are going to use a demo. I'm going to switch to uh, SQL 2012 here. And as you can see, I'm using a SQL uh, Express Edition. I'm going to use my Windows uh, authentication and uh, see what we can pull up here shortly. Um, Northwind database basically is based on a, if you have never seen any demos on that, it's based on a concept of uh, you know a company that has customers and products and orders and that sort of thing so now I'm connected if I expand my databases you can uh, you can see um, some of the tables that are going to be uh, pulling up here any second now uh, and here's Northwind database and then we have some tables and maybe I can show you um, a few of these tables real quick so here here's a table that's customers if I go ahead and right click on this uh, I can uh, actually look at the information uh, let's just maybe yeah I don't think it's got that many rows anyway I believe maybe like a hundred or so but uh, if I open up the table you're gonna notice uh, things like uh, customer ID you know their name address and uh, whatnot Okay, so it just ran ran the SQL statement, and uh, you know here is essentially the data that's pulling up here. We have a customer ID, company name, contact name, and whatnot. Okay, so what I what I have done here is I actually have um, 
some SQL scripts ready to roll I believe I'm going to try to locate them uh, in here okay so like I mentioned already that we're using Northwind database for example so uh, you know when you're working with databases you can use the use command to switch databases so let's let's take a look at this I started my first example but then uh, the other ones we're going to build as we go along so for this first one we are going to look for customers in USA we are going to use just one condition so again um, maybe I can just run this part this is what this is doing is select star from customers if I hit F5 it's going to go ahead and return uh, all the customers if I happen to use the correct database okay so if you notice down here uh, towards the bottom you can see I'm getting 91 rows right and uh, we already looked at looked at this table when I when I right clicked on it but now I am interested in finding you know which one of our customers are in um, USA so I'm going to highlight this part you can see I, I've used where country equal to USA okay and I'm going to go ahead and execute this now if I can uh, uh, move this slightly up you can see that we are returning you know 13 customers okay that are in USA and if you scroll to the right here you can actually see this column uh, country and you can see that it's all USA okay well that's great how about if I wanted to find out you know the customers that are in USA and state of Oregon so if you can see uh, the state is listed in region and this is uh, as you can see Oregon you know Washington California and whatnot so now we're going to use two conditions well how would we do that well it's uh, really complex let me show you so you go select star from customers where country okay will be what it is going to be again USA by the way uh, SQL Server uh, is not uh, case sensitive typically um, you know if you are using another um, platform it, you may have to watch out for the um, for the for the caps but in our case it doesn't matter so I just did country equal to USA and then region right is equal to be what well, it's going to be Oregon right which is OR so now when I when I highlight this part and I run this okay you can see that uh, you know from 13 and I'm going to just maybe I'm, <clears throat> I can write uh, the number of rows that are returned so we can kind of keep track of things here by the way if you are working in SQL if you start a line with dash dash that becomes a comment so SQL will not execute that typically all right so so that's that's the where clause with two conditions now what if I wanted to find you know customers in the state of Oregon or so the key factor is or state of Washington now we're going to use basically a, a, a multiple condition and I'm going to be a little bit lazy here and I'm going to copy this okay bring it down here uh, where region is equal to Oregon or which is different than the Oregon or region is equal to what's the other one we said Washington okay which is W A I believe alright so now what is it going to do let's think about that it's going to return customers that are not only in Oregon so as you can see these these customers should be here so remember the names Great Lakes food market hungry something and the big cheese okay but it's also going to return customers from Washington so let's go ahead and see if that is in fact true or if I'm just making things up well looks like instead of four now we're getting seven okay and you can see that uh, I guess that's a cool name Walla Walla and then Kirkland and Seattle we have some customers from there so now let's write seven here okay now when you're using or clause there's actually another way to do the same thing in SQL uh, and the way you do that is you use uh, the in clause okay so I've highlighted that right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say where um, region okay in okay so let's be a little bit more uh, opposite of lazy here use the actual state's name so let's let's try this one first okay let's say you're going to return um, 
you know, those two states. So I don't care. They're either in Oregon or Washington, okay? Return me that information. Again, you got seven records. Now, if we were to add another one here, uh, and you can, that's the nice thing about the in clause is you can keep adding more values in here. Okay, so now I'm saying add California in there too. Okay, so we just picked up another uh, another customer right here. Let's stop and shop from San Francisco. Okay, so that that's that's how you do the you know multiple conditions. So let me go ahead and write. Uh, this is going to be eight customers. Okay. Um, so uh, so that's good okay so we so far so you know so good we used one condition multiple conditions we use the and clause we use the or clause i want to show you another thing um you know what if you wanted to do a little bit of uh, pattern matching okay you're not exactly sure uh maybe you know part of the customer's name or their state or address how do you do that for example you know let's say our condition is postal code that starts with 99 but you don't really know what it finishes with right okay how do you do that well you can use the like operator okay so by the way postal code is right here you know you can see some of them start with nine